Hey, welcome. Hi, this is Terra Illumination with another Astro Babble thing here. It's all about the Leo New Moon Eclipse and the Leo North Node happening around the end of August 21st, 2017. And this is kind of an update because at Terra Illumination we did a big playlist months ago uh, regarding the Leo North Node. And it was probably too much too soon because it's only seems to be coming right now in the popular conversation on the other channels and so on. So it's time to do a little bit of an update because we're right in the thick of it right now, uh, especially at the end of August going into September. So this might be think of this like as a little fine tuning. So this one's for you, Capricorn. OK, let's have a look. Um, we I put together a little chart for you here and what we did was sorry let's just do that for you uh, I stripped out everything except the uh, energy about the north node and what's happening here this is you Capricorn okay this would be your energy here this would be the south node energy over here in Aquarius in your second house of resources value values self-worth talents gifts money uh, sensuality, uh, beauty, earth, nature, all that. And this is your Leo North Node path up here over in the eighth house, okay? So the uh, evolutionary journey goes like this. And luckily for you, Capricorn, like for everybody, there's a tremendous amount of support here with this massive fire trine, okay? Sagittarius over here, yes, and Aries over here. Uh, urging you, compelling you, pushing you, pulling you to move and advance and evolve and grow in this direction where you become your brightest, shiniest, newest version of yourself. Uh, Capricorn Mark II. Okay, there you are, Capricorn. Uh, in the area of your eighth house. Now, your eighth house, here's some uh, buzz catchwords. Uh, intimacy, significant other. Uh, especially other people's resources and money, especially like if you're in a deeply committed relationship and now you're dealing with what happens inside a deeply committed relationship. In other words, that, oh my God, this is it. This is like hardcore intimacy where you're talking about total soul merger. It's also the energy of, yeah, here we just said it, deep soul merger, uh, death, uh, but it can be a symbolic death as well. The energy of uh, transformation sexuality, these profound energies that are so biologically bedded into our own being that we almost have no say in what they do or how they work. We are just naturally programmed as sexual beings to be born, live, and then die, and then repeat over and over and over again. That's what we do. So this North Node journey would be compelling you, impelling you to uh, shine your brightest light, be a, a literally become a whole new person in this area that we just discussed here. And it might feel very strange for you, be having to be like a very um, radiant being in, in an area of your life, which would normally be very private, very secretive, very much behind the scenes, very deeply buried energy, which might not even have any language to them. It's like the energy that happens when you're in a deeply intimate situation and you, you can't put words to it. It's very, very ecstatic. It can be very beautiful. It can be very frightening. But with the North Node, you're being asked to uh, kind of step out there, be out there and enjoy it and live it and be it, no matter how scary or weird it might be, and leave behind whatever old concepts and beliefs and understandings and values uh, that you thought you had about how the way things should be in the context of a very intimate, deep uh, relationship, including that with yourself, okay? So it might be a very weird experience for you, H quite hard to understand here in this very deeply hidden house, sensuality, sexuality, uh, intimacy with self and other, because a lot of people don't like to go there. They don't want to deal with that stuff. It's much happier to like fall in love with your car or your job or uh, a career or a goal or something as opposed to having to go deep within, deep, deep, deep into a soul merger type energy and radiate yourself as a whole new glowing being in that way to the point where other people notice. I mean, seriously, that's hard. I'm not sure if I would want to do that, but that's where you're being urged to, uh, to go, Capricorn. 
This is the Leo North Node, Leo New, New Moon Eclipse, and it's right on you. The Sun, Moon, Mars, and North Node are all right up here in your eighth house. Okay, this is not an astrology channel. I'm just giving you some little bit of background where the evolutionary energy is taking us, or taking you in particular, Capricorn. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a little mini reading for you to help you on. This is like to help you get through the next, you know, month or so, you know, with the starting at the end of August. And we're going to do it kind of like this, a little mini three card spread. And this will be for you, Capricorn, okay? Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. You know the drill. You know that already, dear viewers. Thank you so much. So watch for three little videos if you really have to. We're going to put down three simple cards. South node energy, which needs to be outgrown. Uh, the redundant energies that are going to be left behind. The Leo North node energies to which you are heading and which you are going to bring into your life and humbly allow to enter into your life. And it's going to happen regardless because of the eclipses. It's irreversible energy. You're either going to get pushed if you don't evolve in a graceful, humble way. The stuff that is redundant is going to get ripped away anyway. So either way, we're going to evolve. It's a question of how much pain are you willing to tolerate? How much joy are you willing to incorporate in the journey going forward to the new version of yourself in the eighth house, Capricorn? So... Hopefully this little card here will give us an indication of how to do that effectively so that you don't trip up, you don't hurt yourself, you don't allow others to hurt you in the evolutionary path, okay? Cards were well shuffled in advance. We're going to go for it real fast. It's just going to be a little three card quickie down and dirty, okay? I hope you don't mind. We should be able to get something out of it, all right? And remember, it's the same for everyone else, Capricorn. I know you've been going through an awful lot lately because you've got that, you know, very deep, heavy, slow Pluto transit going in your first house of identity of self. And that's tough enough, you know, with all those big T-squares and everything for the last few months. But the pressure is increasing ever more. And there's no going back. So this hopefully will help you to get through it all. Cards, I said, were reshuffled, but we're going to shuffle again just to get to the last moment then we're going to cut okay like we do just like we do i'm going to cut like this all right all right all right and then we're going to do a little read just like we said here so this is the south node energy which is going to be outgrown and left behind this is the north node energy to which you are heading and which you are to incorporate and enjoy humbly and invoke and invite into your life and here's hopefully a way to handle it how to get through and uh, move through the journey effectively and underneath we're going to look at the bottom card about like the let's say the surrounding conditions or the weather that would be uh you know there anyway for better or worse we're going to make the best of that weather okay so what you have here is the strength card so it's an indication capricorn the way i'm feeling it is that with the strength card here, it's all about you are being deeply encouraged to take that massive Capricorn capability that you have, where all this wooey wooey astro stuff and tarot stuff would be for a lot of Capricorns like, what is this BS? I'm all about day to day life making it work. You guys do this, you guys do that, you do that, I'll take care of this and it's going to work fine. Okay, everybody go. Like Capricorn is very good at being in charge and getting shit done. Okay, so that's cool. That's what needs to happen. Uh, and, and that's very much tuning into this, you know, the raw power side of yourself, Capricorn. But what this card is indicating here is that you're being challenged to kind of go deeper where you bring all your natural Capricorn resources, values, capabilities all of this stuff from your south node Aquarius in the second house, okay? All of this stuff here, taking all the good stuff out of there uh, and bringing that forward with you into a new way of being where you literally share your resources, your light, your abundance with others, okay? But it's done at a much higher level of calling now where the energy you're being invited, well, probed, let's say, induced, compelled, pushed, pulled with these eclipses to integrate your raw, natural, original Capricorn self into a higher calling version of yourself 
where you uh, answer to the will of heaven as opposed to the will of Capricorn or the will of self, okay? Uh, and allowing yourself to become much more of an instrument of the will of heaven as opposed to an instrument, okay? Because your Capricorns are typically already very effective instruments in some way, especially with this, you know, three-dimensional world in which we um, exist. But we're asking you, everyone is expecting you and asking you to evolve to a higher level, okay? So we're going to try and do that, all right? Let's see. What are we going to leave behind, Capricorn? Okay. You might have, you see, with the Four of Swords here, that's, uh, excuse me a second here. I need to close off the office. Sorry, Capricorns. With the Four of Swords here, it might indicate, I mean, this, I don't want to sound rude here. I don't want to, like, insult you, Capricorn. But you might have been, like, ignoring or, let's say, deliberately uh, resting or taking taking your attention away from what has to happen because you're being asked to do a lot, to evolve a lot. You know, you might have a tremendous amount of values, value systems, things that you love and cherish and hold very, very dear. And you're, it might be like, I'm very reluctant to let all that go because that's what constitutes life. That's wealth, that's money, that's abundance, that's tangible parts of life. And we're being asked to essentially let that go. And with the Four of Swords here, it feels to me like it's an indication that um, like you've been, you know, if you take the traditional approach, like this is a card of peace and rest and nurture and self, and allowing yourself to be removed from the battlefront, so to speak. So we could look at it as my first feeling, I have to call it out, Capricorn, I have to say that I feel as though you've been um, taking a rest regarding these issues because you don't really want to deal with it for obvious reason, because you tend to have a very tangible, tactile life that makes sense to you. So why mess with that? So you've just, it's almost like you've been setting it aside anyway, but instead of setting it aside to be, you know, put into the history shelves on the history books, uh, it's not being dealt with at all, okay? Because you've got enough challenges going on already, and now we're being asked to go to even more. So in a way, this is kind of a problem. Normally, this card would indicate a lot of peace and calm and rest. But from my feeling with the reading for you, Capricorn, is that um, this is more like, it's like chilling out, almost like pretending that the issues aren't even there, pre pretending that the South Node energies don't exist, that they, you know, everything here doesn't mean anything and that you're just going to stick to your life because you know what works. And that means it's almost like uh, negligence, okay? Negligence of oneself, negligence of one's path, one's journey, uh, which is just going to make life, life harder for you. And instead, we need to move forward to this, okay? Which is much more celebratory, okay? There's a lot more love energy here. Now, if you want to, you can you can read this as Capricorn. It's time for you to take a break. It's time for you to chill off, chill out, take your foot off the gas pedal of life and running life and managing and controlling life and you know taking care of business and allowing yourself to chill out so that you can gracefully, humbly tune into what needs to be left behind and become more acutely, more sensitively aware of what needs to be brought in and incorporated and absorbed into your new life going forward, which would be much more of a loving celebratory energy, okay? So it's like, it's almost like in, in terms of, of this energy up here in your eighth house of intimacy, other people's resources, it might be a way, to, an idea to approach it in a much more, um, let's say simply like a joyful manner, actually find ways to learn how to get off on the process of intimacy, the, the energies of deep soul merger, where it becomes something that can be celebrated, enjoyed, as opposed to something that is frightening or that should be uh, set aside or ignored because it's too scary to go into that dark room with oneself or with significant others and share at the deepest soul levels. This is an indication of almost the exact opposite thing. Find ways to enjoy it 
enjoy the process of transformation, enjoy the sexuality, the, the, the sense of dying before you die as you go through the transformations, finding ways to celebrate deep soul merger, enjoying the process of merging with other people's resources, enjoy intimacy, celebrate it instead of being scared about it and putting it aside because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's too disruptive for the Capricorn order, okay? So that's what it looks like here, but again, that's a big challenge because that might feel very weird and new to you because the North Node is typically where we've never been before. So it might feel strange to do that, and you might want to go back to just forgetting about it, chilling out about it, and just, oh, we'll just set that over there. No, 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 Capricorn. It's time to evolve and grow and move on. question is how. So, okay, this is what I'm feeling here with the eight of... of, of of wands here. It's an indication in order to move forward effectively with this um, energy, <clears throat> enjoy it. Really, really let rip, let fly. It's almost like the exact opposite of what normal uh, eighth house type energy would be, which would be typically very, very close, secretive, private, intimate. This is like enjoy it. Get out there. Enjoy the sexuality, the passion, the, the sharing, and the merging. It's like Find ways to get off on it, okay? Um, I don't want to go too deep into it right here. This is just a little mini reading, and I've talked too much already. Basically, enjoy yourself, Capricorn. Let it go. Let it rip. Have fun when it comes to that part of your life, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah, read for your sun, moon, and rising. Thanks for visiting Tarot Illumination. Bye.